Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We are going to continue our lesson which talks about oxidation and reduction. At the end of this video, you will be able to solve exercises related to electrochemical classification and predicting reactions using gamma rule by solving exercises 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. The materials needed during this session are a pen and your chemistry notebook first we'll start by solving exercise 7 which is on page 55 on your chemistry book the question is what is observed when an iron bar is dipped into a solution of silver nitrate the redox couples involved are ag plus ag since we have a silver nitrate solution and fe2 plus fe since we have an iron bar we classify these two redox couples on an axis the species present in this reaction are Fe metal, which is the iron bar, and Ag plus ions in the silver nitrate solution. Here, as we can see on this axis, Ag plus is the strongest oxidizing agent or the strongest oxidant, and Fe is the strongest reductant or reducing agent. Here, a reaction takes place between the strongest oxidant according to gamma rule which is Ag plus and the strongest reductant which is Fe the half reactions that take place here are Ag plus is reduced to Ag by gaining one electron and Fe is oxidized to Fe2 plus by losing two electrons if we want to write the overall reaction, we have only one electron in the first reaction and two electrons in the second reaction. Then we must multiply the first reaction by two and the second reaction is multiplied by one or not multiplied by any number. Now we add these two reactions and where we get the overall reaction which is 2Ag plus plus Fe gives Fe2 plus and 2 Ag then Ag plus ion is reduced by Fe then the metallic silver is deposited on the iron strip the metallic silver which is the Ag formed in this reaction the metallic silver is dipped is deposited on the iron strip and the color of the solution becomes pale green why does it become pale green since the quantity of Fe2 plus ions increases in the solution. Now in part B what is observed when an iron bar is dipped into a solution of copper 2 sulfate. The redox couples involved in this reaction are Cu2 plus Cu due to the presence of the copper 2 sulfate solution and Fe2 plus Fe due to the presence of the iron bar. We classify these two redox couples on an axis as we can see here. Now, the species present are Fe metal due to the presence of iron bar and Cu2 plus ions in the copper 2 sulfate solution. Here, Cu2 plus is the strongest oxidant and Fe is the strongest reductant. Then, according to gamma rule, a spontaneous reaction takes place between the strongest oxidant, Cu2 plus, and the strongest reductant, which is Fe, to give Fe2 plus and Cu. If we want to write the half reactions, Cu2 plus is being reduced to Cu by gaining two electrons, and Fe is being oxidized to Fe2 plus by losing two electrons. Here we have two electrons in the reactants in the first rea in the first half reaction and two electrons in the products in the second half reaction. Then we can directly add these two half reactions to get the overall equation which is Cu2 plus plus Fe gives Fe2 plus plus Cu. Now in this reaction the Cu2 plus ions are being reduced by Fe metal. Then metallic copper is deposited on the iron strip. Metallic copper which we get due to the reduction of Cu2 plus to Cu is deposited on the iron strip 
and the blue color of the copric sulfate solution fades since the CO2 plus ions are being reduced to CO then the color they have a blue color their color will fade now in part C we are asked what is observed when an iron bar is dipped into a solution of aluminum chloride the species of the redox couples involved are Al3 plus Al in the aluminum chloride solution and Fe2 plus Fe due to the presence of the iron bar now we classify these two redox couples on an axis we see that the species present are Fe metal in the iron bar and Al3 plus ions in the aluminum chloride solution while the strongest oxidant is Fe2 plus which does not exist and also the strongest reductant is Al which also does not exist then we say that the reaction between Fe and Al3 plus is not spontaneous it is against the gamma rule so it doesn't occur and no reaction takes place now in exercise 9 when an iron bar is dipped into a solution of nickel 2 sulfate a metallic, a metallic deposit is formed a metallic deposit is formed this means that a reaction is taking place in this question write the balanced equation of the reaction we can see in the figure when we dip the iron bar in the nickel sulfate solution here a metallic deposit is being formed to write the balanced equation of the reaction first we have to write the half reactions taking place now Ni2 plus present in the solution is going to be reduced by gaining two electrons to form Ni which is going to deposit on the iron bar while the iron in the iron bar is going to be oxidized into Fe2 plus ions by losing two electrons to, to get the overall equation we just add these two half reactions we say that Ni2 plus plus Fe reacts with Fe to produce Fe2 plus and Ni in part B when a lead bar is dipped into a solution of nickel 2 sulfate no deposit appears no deposit appears this means that no reaction takes place show that these two experiments allow predicting the position of nickel on the electrochemical classification first as we can see in the figure when the lead bar is dipped into, into a solution containing Ni2 plus ions which is nickel 2 sulfate no reaction is taking place there is no reaction in this figure this means that PB lead is less than reducing than an I from part A we know that a reaction takes place between Fe and Ni2 plus then we can say that Fe is more reducing or has more reducing power than an I since PB is less reducing than an I then we place it above an I on this axis since the reducing power increases downwards we place PB above an I and since Fe has more reducing power than an I then we place it below an I since we also said that the reducing power increases downwards now we go to exercise 10 page 56 which says that the following balanced equations correspond to spontaneous redox reactions the first reaction is Ni plus Sn2 plus gives Ni2 plus plus Sn the second reaction is Sn plus Pb2 plus gives Sn2 plus plus Pb third reaction is Fe plus Ni2 plus gives Fe2 plus plus Ni and the last reaction is Fe plus Sn2 plus gives Fe2 plus plus Sn deduce the position of the couples Sn2 plus Sn and Ni2 plus Ni in the electrochemical classification in order to deduce the position of these redox couples we have to write the position of each two redox couples from each reaction let's start by the first reaction which is Ni plus Sn2 plus gives Ni2 plus plus Sn 
An I is oxidized to an I2+, then it is the strongest reducing agent. And SN2 plus is reduced to SN, then it is the strongest oxidizing agent. Then we can place them on an axis, as you can see here. Now, in the second reaction, which is SN plus PB2 plus, gives SN2 plus plus PB. SN is being oxidized into SN2 plus, then it is the strongest reducing agent. And PB2 plus is being reduced to PB, then it is the strongest oxidizing agent then we can also place them on the on an axis as you can see similarly using the reactions fe plus ni2 plus gives fe2 plus plus ni then we can say that fe is oxidized then it is the strongest reducing agent and ni2 plus is reduced then it is the strongest oxidizing agent in the last reaction, Fe plus Sn2 plus gives Fe2 plus plus Sn. Then Fe is oxidized, then it is the strongest reducing agent. And Sn2 plus is reduced, then it is the strongest oxidizing agent. We can write the classification of each couple of these two last uh, reactions, as you can see here. Now, by combining the four representations together. Here in the first one, SN2 plus SN is above Ni2 plus Ni. And in the second one, PB2 plus PB is above SN2 plus SN. Now we can deduce that PB2 plus PB can be placed here above SN2 plus SN. In the third one, Ni2 plus Ni is above Fe2 plus Fe, then we can place Fe2 plus Fe here below Ni2 plus Ni. Then we can, the electrochemical classification of Sn and Ni is as follows Pb2 plus Pb is above Sn2 plus Sn, above Ni2 plus Ni, and all of them are above Fe2 plus Fe. In exercise 11, Page 56, a beaker A contains a colorless solution of lead 2 nitrate, and the beaker B contains also a colorless solution of zinc 2 nitrate. Can we know what is in beakers A and B using an iron bar and using a copper strip? First, we, uh, we are going to classify all the redox couples involved as follows Cu2 plus Cu, Pb2 plus Pb, Fe2 plus Fe, and Zn2 plus. ZN. Now, if the iron strip is dipped in a beaker containing lead 2 nitrate solution, lead 2 has more oxidizing power than Fe2, and Fe has more reducing power than Pb. Then a spontaneous reaction takes place according to gamma rule between Pb2 and Fe to produce Fe2 and Pb. Then we say that. A metallic lead deposit is formed on the iron strip. Now, if we place this iron strip in a solution of the uh, in the solution of zinc nitrate, does a reaction take place between Fe and Zn2 plus? Of course not, since it is opposite to gamma rule. Then no deposit is being formed. Now if we place a copper strip the copper strip does not react with pb2 plus in the lead 2 nitrate solution also it is opposite to gamma rule and also cu copper does not react with zn2 plus since it is also opposite to gamma rule then we cannot use a copper strip to identify these two solutions since the copper strip does not react with both ions in the solutions while we can use the fe to the fe strip the iron bar since iron makes a reaction with lead 2 nitrate and does not make a reaction with zinc 2 nitrate now in exercise 12 page 56 we are asked to write the balanced equations for the reactions First, the reduction of Ag plus with metal Fe. 
and in part B we have to write the equation of oxidation of metal Mg with Cu2 plus ions. We will start by the first reaction which is reduction of Ag plus with metal Fe. We classify them on an axis. We can see that Ag plus is the strongest oxidizing agent and Fe is the strongest reducing agent. Then a spontaneous reaction takes place between them producing Fe2 plus and Ag. We have to write the half reactions in order to write the overall equation. The first half reaction, which is Ag plus, gains one electron to give Ag, and Fe2 plus loses two electrons to give Fe2 plus. Here, in the first reaction, in the reduction half reaction, we have only one electron, while in the oxidation half reaction, two electrons are being lost. Then we must multiply the first reaction, the reduction half reaction by 2, and the oxidation half reaction is multiplied by 1. Then we get that the overall equation will be 2Ag plus plus Fe gives Fe2 plus plus 2Ag. In part B, which is the oxidation of metal Mg with Cu2 plus ions, we place them on an axis, as you can see here. CO2 plus is the strongest oxidizing agent and Mg is the strongest reducing agent. Then a spontaneous reaction takes place between CO2 plus and Mg to give Mg2 plus and Cu. The half reactions are the reduction half reaction is CO2 plus plus two electrons gives Cu and the oxidation half reaction is Mg2 plus Mg gives Mg2 plus plus two electrons. The overall equation will be Cu2 plus plus Mg gives Mg2 plus plus Cu. This session was prepared by teacher Hiba Badawi, was recorded by Mr. Mustafa Tlais, and supervised by teacher Hiba Badawi.